everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer. And today we're finally gonna to get to play with the Mel Thompson Sydney Grace Tiny Marvels palette. Uh, on the cover, there's the cover art with like tiny little bugs, ladybugs, butterflies, spiders, caterpillars, signifying uh, Mel's love for tiny little creatures. And of course she has a number of tattoos and she's reflected that in the design on the front of her palette. And I know you guys have probably seen this palette a bunch of times already. Mine was caught up in the mail service. Maybe you've heard a little bit about that. We won't go into that now. But anyway, it's here, so that's what matters. <laughs> um, I'll go ahead and, and show you the shades. They're really beautiful, very creamy, really different palette. I like the way that it's been curated. It's got a lot of shades that I, I don't necessarily have in my collection. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is Web, Treehopper, Fire Butts, Walking Stick, Scarab. Scarab is the one that you've probably seen a lot about. It's kind of like a duochrome. It's got like a greenish purple thing going on. Uh, Flutterby, BB, Mantis. Mantis has been very popular for this particular green. Meadowhawk and love bug and because i ran out of space on one arm then we have um jewel b right here the purple jewel b marvel death moth bugaboo and spider so those are the shades i think it's a really interesting palette and i'm really excited to try it out so yeah i think we're just going to play around with it a little bit See what happens. I'll bring you in a little bit closer as we put the eye look on. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead. I think we'll start, let's start with Death Moth. Not, not a usual name of thing, something I start with, but hey. Um, these are very creamy and powdery, so there will be some kick up on the pan. Make sure that you Tap off your brush. So it's actually a decent temperature here in Massachusetts today, which is nice. I'm very excited. Wear clothing with, you know, sleeves and a neck to it. <laughs> For me, you know, when it gets above like 90 degrees, I just, I don't function well. I really don't. I mean, I have friends who live in Texas, in Arizona, in Las Vegas, and you know, they're living in 100 degree heat all the time. And so to them, you know, 90 degrees, that's like a decent day. And to me here in Boston, you know, we don't really, I mean, don't get me wrong, it does get hot, but you know, like continuous 90 degree days that's just not a typical summer for us. It's not like we don't have 90 degree days, but not every day. And it was just, I mean, humid and just uncomfortable, just, you know, nasty. And I lived in Washington, DC for many, many years. And that's what you get in DC in the summer, which is expected. I mean, you know, you know, those of you who've lived in DC or, or live in the South, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, it's, it's hot and sticky. All right, so we're gonna go into spider. Spider is this deeper brown here. And I'm gonna go into the crease with it, outer edge. Yes, but I've been very excited to receive this palette. Um, one, I have recently been able to try out Sydney Grace. I tried out her summer, summer days. I'm probably getting the name wrong. Maybe it was Summer Days. Her Summer Days palette, if that's wrong, I'll correct it below, and loved the formula. I was really impressed uh, with the quality of the pigment and the smoothness of the formula. And um, I also bought the Autumn Rain. I have not used the Autumn Rain on camera, but I have tried out the shades and they are they are beautiful. I'm trying to hold out until the actual autumn because it is more of an autumn 
palette, more of an autumn color story. I mean, you can use, we've had this conversation, like you can use any shades anytime you want. But you know, I try to, try to do like more summer looks, even though I'm not a summer person, but uh, yeah, it's really beautiful. I would love the Enduring Love palette, but the love the Enduring Love, huh? Didn't even do that. Uh, but it's always sold out. So hopefully someday I'll be able to get it. Let's do Mantis. This is the green. Of course, everybody, I love green. Not really a purple kind of person. I'm placing this on the lid and then I'll drag it a little. Well, wow, it's really pigmented. Yeah, that's really pigmented, guys. I know the palette is sold out right now, but I believe they are taking pre-orders. And I would definitely, I mean, I just started using it, but I can tell you right now, the quality is absolutely the same as the quality was when I used the, um, the summer days. I go back in with the Death Moth, which was the first shade I did back over this and I'm going to blend it again. Blending is extremely important, um, especially when you have more pigmented shades. You want to make sure that everything is, you know, working together. Let's go into Scarab because I want to play with that one a little. Actually, you know what? Let's go into Firebuds. Let's take Firebuds. Put that, Firebuds is this very, Where's Firebuds? Firebuds is in the middle. It's this very like metallic, shimmery green. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is, okay. Well, you don't have to complain about color payoff. Now I did get a little bit of that under my eye, but that's okay. I'll clean it up. I'm gonna pull my hair back a little bit because make it easier to, wow, that is super pigmented. Okay, let's go back in with Spider, which was the dark brown. Okay, I'm gonna take Marvel, which is the really shimmery, like golden-y shade. Ooh, pretty, okay. And then I'm gonna take BB, which is this really gold shade, right on the middle there. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with the Scarab just on the edge here. I'm gonna take a little bit of web. Okay, let me clean up the eye a little bit. So now I'm gonna take the Death Moth, which was that first brown, run it under the eye, kind of connect. And then I'll take, I think I'll take the Mantis, the bright green. Run that under the corner there. Okay, now before I put any liner or mascara, I wanted you to take a look at how just amazingly pigmented and stunning the shadows are. Incredibly pigmented just like really beautiful. I tried to use as many different shades as I possibly could. Usually I would do like a more, you know, daytime look, but I would try to use a lot of the shades. And I have to say like, that's just really pretty. Almost like a duochrome on my eye, which is, which I like. Um, okay, so I'm gonna use the Metallic Moss. This is the Tom Ford. I've used this before and just kind of go in the water line here a little bit. Okay, yeah, I think it looks really nice. I like the green with it. I mean, I obviously focused on the green shades in the palette. I mean, the great thing about this palette, honestly, is, you know, I went in with the Mantis and the Fire Butts, which are definitely, you know, greener in shade and, and the Scarab and the Browns, but you could take the pinks, you could take the golds. You, I mean, there's there are so many different ways that you could use this palette. If you watch the other content creators, and I'll, I'll link some below, everyone came up with a very different look, which is, I think, a tribute to how good this palette is. Let me curl my lashes, put on some mascara, and let's talk lipstick. So, final look, mascara is on. 
Final thoughts about the palette. <laughs> it's a beautiful palette. I did not use every shade. I obviously saw what I, I used. I tried to use as many shades as I could within the look that I was doing. I think the payoff is beautiful. I think the formula is extremely smooth. I love the fact that there are a number of options in here. I'll, like I said, list some content creators below that use the palette to create very different looks from what I did. I think it's a really superior palette. I would, if I saw this on someone else, think maybe Natasha Denona or, you know, something like that. Not Pat McGrath because she doesn't have any of these shades in her, her recent palettes, but it has a similar kind of vibe to it because the shimmers are really impressive. I really love it. I can't, <laughs> I have nothing bad to say. It's beautiful. The shades, I mean, obviously I love the greens, but I'll, I'll play around with the other shades as well. I use the browns and the and the golds in there. I, I think they knocked it out of the park. It's, it's an excellent palette. It's well curated, it's interesting. The formula is really good, payoff's great. You know, I wanna be transparent. I really enjoy Mel Thompson's channel and I'm a big fan. So obviously I wanna support her and the work that she does, but I can tell you, if it wasn't good, if it wasn't good quality, if it wasn't worth your money, I would not tell you to buy it. I might buy it personally to support her, but I wouldn't tell you all that it was good and to go out and buy it if it wasn't. So, you know, I get it. Like, you're gonna spend your hard-earned money on something, you wanna make sure it's good quality. This is excellent quality. First of all, Sydney Grace does a great job. Every Sydney Grace product I've used has been really, really good. I, I want her Enduring Love palettes so badly. It's always sold out. <laughs> um, but honestly, guys, this is an excellent palette. It offers a lot of, of different choices, different shades, and it's beautiful. So get on the list. Um, I, I believe it's still taking pre-orders on the Sydney Grace website, but it is sold out for right now. So let's get into lips. Uh, so Proper Beauty. Uh, Proper Beauty has these lipsticks that are they are beautiful. What I will say, these are nudes. Uh, what I would say about these is that they are very pigmented and they're actually kind of hard to get off, which is a good thing. I'm not complaining, but I put them on my face the other day because I was just trying to like see the different shades like around my mouth, kind of see what worked and I <laughs> couldn't get them off. So I kind of, I was like, oh, um, you, you definitely, I mean, You'll see, they're very pigmented, they stay on your face, and uh, they're gorgeous. So today I was just trying to figure out what shade I wanted to use. I used them in, which video did I use them in? I think I used it with, I think I used it with the Jungle palette from Dior. I don't even know. I've done so many videos now, guys. I'm like getting lost. Okay, so let me show you. So I tried to do it kind of light to dark, but that doesn't really work because they're different uh, undertones okay so this one is finesse this one is victress this one is limitless I think that's the one I used this one is profits and this one is her magic this is the warmest this is limitless limitless is almost like a burnt sienna kind of shade this is pro these two are more neutral victress and finesse this is the lightest uh, Victor's has a little bit more, Victor's has a little bit more brown in it. Um, Her Magic is a little pinker. Profits, I would say, is a cooler brown, but still has a little orange. And then the last one, Her Magic, which is, which is a much cooler, almost plummy brown. So oh, I think today I'm going to use Victress, which is more of a neutral, um, and I'm going to use, I have just lost it, but I was, okay, <laughs> sorry. I'm going to use Mel Thompson's lip liner in Smooches. This was her collab with um, Christian Audette. She has, a lips, she has lipsticks and lip liner. I'm just going to do the lip liner because I do want to talk about Prop of Beauty today. Uh, in addition to the palette. So let me just put the lip liner on really quick and then we'll talk about the lipstick a bit. There are smooches. I thought this would actually work out well because it's a nice brownie neutral so it'll work well with the lipsticks. So Proper Beauty, independent brand, black owned brand, beautiful lipsticks. I think if you're looking for some good nudes, whether pinky or brown, you saw the shades on my hand, 
They have a really wide variety. I have, like I said, five of them. I forget how many shades they had. I'll put it down below. But I picked these up during the sale. I don't think the sale is running anymore, but still, even if they're not, the price point is really good. The shades are beautiful. They stay on really well. You're gonna see, I'm gonna apply it in real time so you can see. And I gotta tell you guys, I'm really impressed with this brand. Okay, so let's go ahead and go with the Victress. Look how well that went on. Easy, smooth, I mean, goes on the lips, one swipe, you don't have to go over it and over it, really pigmented, smooth, creamy, feels nice on the lips, great for more mature skin, does not you know, go into the lines, doesn't dry out my lips, because my lips are very dry. You guys should check these out. And I love the packaging, I just think it's really interesting, it's this octagonal like shape and this color is like a cocoa color it's just I really like it it's very unique I've seen nothing else like it and I'm really impressed with the shades I might even go back and buy the rest of the the collection um, depending on uh, <laughs> depending on the other things I need to pick up I was so excited to finally get the the palette in the mail I love it I think the shades are beautiful and I really like the look that I created today I think it's really pretty. I think the the, sh the shimmers are gorgeous. The mattes are beautiful. There is a little bit of kick up in the pan when you're using them. Just remember to tap off your brush. Other than that, you know, I hope they I hope they do more palettes. I hope Mel comes out with uh, more and more products because I I loved her lip liner and her lipstick. I, I love the shadows. I think they're beautiful. And check out the Propa website because I think you guys are really gonna like the lipsticks. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really appreciate it. Hope to see you in another video really soon.